Israel is not the boy who cried wolf. We have been screaming from the rooftops for years, trying to wake up the international community, but to no avail. If only this council would have inter internalized my words, it would not have needed the bone-rattling explosions of last night's attack to wake it up. Why have you not used all possible means to condemn Iran and demand compliance? Why have you instead rolled out the red carpet for these genocidal jihadists? Why do you treat them as if they are interested in de-escalation when you know that the opposite is true? Colleagues, Iran's strategy has been crystal clear. Arm, fund, and train terror proxies across the globe to carry out Iran's murderous scheme of domination. But today, the mask of Iranian deniability has been removed. No more hiding and no more bluffing. No more shirking of responsibility. Iran has attacked Israel from its own sovereign territory, publicly and proudly. The mask is off. This attack crossed every red line, and Israel reserves the legal right to retaliate. We are not a frog in boiling water. We are a nation of lions. Following such a massive and direct attack on Israel, the entire world, let alone Israel, cannot settle for inaction. We will defend our future. No more red carpet treatment here at the UN. No more appeasement. Today, the Council must take action. Condemn Iran for their terror, trigger the snapback mechanism and reimpose crippling sanction, designate the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps as a terror organization. Action must be taken now, not for Israel's sake, not for the region's sake, but for the world's sake. Stop Iran today. The armed forces of the Islamic Republic of Iran carried out a series of military strikes on Israeli military objectives with dozens of missiles and drones. Iran's operation was entirely in the exercise of Iran's inherent right to self-defense as outlined in Article 51 of the Charter of the United Nations and recognized by international law. This concluded action was necessary and proportionate it was precise and only targeted military objectives and carried out carefully to minimize the potential for escalation and prevent civilian harm. These countries, especially the United States, have shielded Israel from any responsibility for the Gaza massacre. While they have denied Iran inherent right to self-defense against the Israeli armed attack on our diplomatic premises, at the same time, they shamefully justified the Israeli massacre and genocide against the defenseless Palestinian people under the pretext of self-defense. Regrettably, the Security Council has failed in its duty to maintain international peace and security. Russia proposed a press statement to denounce this atrocious act, which was backed by China, Algeria, and many members, but was blocked by the US, UK, and France. Faced with such circumstances, the Islamic Republic of Iran had no choice but to exercise its inherent right to self-defense under international law. The Israeli Prime Minister's policy seeks to expand and escalate the conflict in the region to stay in power. Iran is never seeking to contribute to the spillover of the conflict in the region, nor does it to escalate or spread the tension to the entire region. Iran has no intention of engaging in conflict with the U.S. in the region. We demonstrated our commitment to peace by exercising our restraint about involving the U.S. Army in intercepting Iranian drones and missiles bound for military target in the occupied Palestinian territories. This underscores our dedication to de-escalating tension and avoiding the expansion of conflict. However, if the U.S. initiate military operation against Iran, 
its citizen or its security and interest, Iran will use its inherent right to respond proportionately. I thank you.